Hey, it's your girl, the realest Barbie D. Welcome to the first episode of my podcast. Just a little bit of background and intro. My name is Barbie and I help women entrepreneurs who have product-based online businesses. If you have um, like an online boutique, anything that you're selling online, like product-based, if you have a brand, e-commerce brand specifically, I help with marketing and running social media ads and social media marketing. Now, I've always wanted to start a podcast and the reason why is because when I started coaching one-on-one, I noticed a very recurring theme, okay? So, a lot of times, I would tell my clients what to do for their assignments, their to-do list, um, you know, everything that they need, how to create their content marketing. It's very simple, right? But... A lot of times, if someone is transitioning from, you know, working a regular job to wanting to become a full-time entrepreneur, there is a mindset shift that you need to go through in order to transition to that next chapter of your life. And this is something that really helped me and a lot of a lot of successful entrepreneurs that I listened to. This is how I learned it from and um, not only like the technicalities, like like the technical strategies, but also the mindset shift, right? And this is something that a lot of people don't really talk about. Like, you know, you can learn how to, how to fix your website, how to do your marketing and stuff like that. But if you are not... Um, transitioning your mindset to an abundance mindset or entrepreneur mindset, then it's really difficult for the actions to follow through. And the biggest thing is whatever you focus on grows, okay? If you have not, if you haven't like heard of law of attraction, law of attraction means you attract the energy that you're vibrating in for example if you think that you know the day is gonna it's gonna be a a bad day because you woke up on the wrong side of bed or something right that that's a mindset so if you think a certain way that is your energy and that's what's gonna happen right now if you say and think and feel that today is gonna be the best day of your (laughs) of the month or something or it's going to be the best day ever then that's what's going to happen so a lot of new online not only just online but a lot of new um, entrepreneurs they have a very terrible limiting limiting beliefs of oh um there's already a different brand doing the same thing there's already other businesses selling the same products right which is it could be true right but if you keep saying that that is gonna be a limiting belief that is gonna hold you back right another common limiting beliefs are you know anxiety about putting yourself out there you you're scared that if you post something on social media you're not gonna get enough likes you're not gonna get enough views right so those are one of the examples um some other example is like no one's gonna buy from me you know what i mean or like um i don't have enough money to do this and that so whenever you think think like that or say things like that then you are limiting yourself from your full potential so today i just created um an affirmation video on my youtube channel and I want you to open your mind to reprogram your mind from lack mentality. Lack meaning you feel like you're always, you never have enough, you always don't have enough. You know, we need to transition that and reprogram your mind to abundance mindset. So abundance means unlimited amount, like you always have more than enough. And that is the truth. Because... The society right now, you know, like if you listen to the radio, to news, right, social media, they always like put fear into people like, 
um there's a recession there's a lockdown there's this and that like <laughs> that it, like it could be true but like it doesn't have to be true in your world and if you a lot of people don't realize there's so many like wealthy people on planet earth that are not affected by that type of circumstances so you know you want to put yourself in that shoes you, you want to put yourself in that position where you don't have to ever worry about what's going on in the world because you always have more than enough and even though you start a business right if you are limiting yourself with your limiting beliefs and your fear and anxiety then nothing's gonna happen right like i could tell you what kind of photos and videos you need to post on your social media or how to fix your email marketing how to run your ads if you're if you're always anxious and f fearful and have limiting beliefs about yourself then that's going to hinder you right so let's talk about i want to share with you a story of when i started my lash brand so if you're new here um uh, my lash brand is called luscious eyelashes and this is strip lash that i just ship out the products right it's not a service of like um individual lash it's like a strip lash that you put on and so that's the first that was not my first business ever but that was the first business that i that really took took off um so before that happened i've always been in the entrepreneur mindset since i was like i would say 17 18 i already knew that i wanted to be an entrepreneur but my environment was not helping like i like my family didn't really support it like i had friends and you know friends and family felt like i was crazy because i was too young to be thinking that i wanted to be a millionaire <laughs> right things like that so that contributes to the limiting beliefs right so um i'm really overwhelmed with a lot of things i want to talk about but i want to share with you my story because um anything really is possible um so long story short when i started before i started my lash business i was going through um, a difficult challenging situation overall like financially emotionally right and i got out of i had I just got out of a toxic relationship at that time and i didn't have my own place i didn't have my own car like the car that i had was like breaking down <laughs> okay so i didn't have anything but i already found out about the law of attraction and practice like manifesting like years before this but if like just a little backstory if you don't know what manifesting is manifesting we always manifest 24 7 like i said law, it's the law of attraction meaning whatever you put out in the universe with your energy with your thoughts and your emotions and what you say that is what you're gonna get and i'm going to create a separate episode about um manifesting for manifesting um success in your business but um it reminded me that i can manifest a successful business so i started my lash business before just a little like a few months before the pandemic of 2020 so at the time i had a a job at this it company it uh, like a tech company and i was the office manager and that's something that i manifested because <laughs> i was just like you know i just asked god the universe i said um i want a high paying job that i don't have to do a lot of heavy work and i'm just gonna sit there <laughs> and like get paid you know what i mean so it was like an easy job so long story short i got that job but at the time i already knew i was already kind of working on an online business at first it was going to be a watch business okay i was going to do a drop shipping but i didn't like the idea of like not enough branding like i wanted something that's going to be branded so i didn't know what to do at that time i was like you know i like i got in tune with 
my my inner being my inner my higher self i wanted to ask my my guides my angels god i want to ask what kind of business should i should i do right so i didn't know so i was just asking later on um you know everywhere i went start like i started getting answers right like everywhere i went people like complimented me to about my um my my lashes so i was like you know what i think this is the sign right i need to start my own lash business so this is like the secret when when some when god puts something in your heart and gives you the answer you need to listen to it and act on it just like me receiving the information that i need to start a podcast i'm going to act on it and i've been putting this off for a long time <laughs> and i'm finally just going to do it and um it might not be as perfect as i want it to be but i'm just gonna take action and do it so you need to do the same exact thing if you feel like deep in your heart you you have a strong um urge and feeling that you need to start on this business you need to take action on it asap because this is god's telling you that this is you know your what you're asking for like if you want to become your own boss like this is what it, this is it like you need to just take action like stop being so fearful and like scared about like oh my gosh what if it doesn't work blah 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 like worst case scenario like not everything goes perfect and like when i started my business not everything went perfect like in the beginning but you know with faith like a strong unshakable faith i just knew that whatever happens it's gonna work out right it's gonna work out at the end of the day but um when i had my um my job my office job i was obsessed with making this work with with my lash brand and even though i was at the desk job i was working on my business on my phone figuring like writing down what i need to get done when i get home you know doing outreach for the brand ambassadors all the things that i need to do or need to find out what to do right so if if you have something in your business that you feel like you're not sure how to do it then just write it down and then like do your research when you get home or something right so i got into working on the lash business i got the samples and then you know one thing i would say is just not overthink it because that's what i did i didn't overthink it and i just did it so the website was not perfect in the beginning but every single day every single week i was fixing something i was improving something it 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 could be the photos right it could be the website it could be anything like there's always something almost every day that i was improving like nothing is gonna be perfect on the first day period okay you need to be just patient so um i got more into like manifesting again because i needed money for the business right so <laughs> i want to share with you this story of how I met someone to invest in my business. It wasn't that much money, but it was a lot of help. And we are still friends till this day. And I really appreciate this person. And anyways, I want to tell you the story of what happened with this investor slash friend. Um, so at the time I was like, you know, I want to know it may be like, my coworkers maybe or my boss can possibly like invest in my business <laughs> but they're like older older men right but they pro like a lot of older men a lot of older people don't understand online stuff they don't understand online businesses so i'm like i'm not sure and i don't want to ask people for loans you know what i mean or like i don't want to ask nobody for help and like you know they want me to do something like i don't want to do you know what i mean so i was like I want to find an investor that's not going to make me pay for it. <laughs> so that's what I said. I said, I would like an investor that is not going to pay, that I don't have to pay for, for the, for, you know, to repay the money. Okay. Um, I think I should have asked for like specific amount of money, but anyways, this is how it works. You're going to say, 
what you want and put it out in the universe you're just gonna you can speak it out loud you can say it in your mind but you need to be specific with what you want and then after that don't after you you know when they they say in the bible s and you shall receive s and you sh you shall receive okay so when you ask you already received it right it doesn't have to be like right at the moment like like in half a second right but no you need to have this unshakable faith that God is already working on it. Okay? It's like when you when you order something online on Amazon or wherever, or when you order at the restaurant, they're already cooking the food. Okay? And you know the food is coming. Right? So you don't have to be like so anxious about it. Right? Because you already know you put in your order and you're going to receive it. So... That's how it is. But in the beginning, I was like, oh, who, who's going to be my investor, blah, blah, blah. I was, like, worried about who is going to be. And then I kind of, like, remember, like, no, I don't need to worry about how, when, or where, or who, right? It's going to help me out. Somebody's going to help me. So I let it go. I let it go. Like, a few days later, and this is what I would call it the receiving mode, Okay, you need to be in the receiving mode. So when you're in the receiving mode, you're not worried about who's going to do it or where it's going to come from, how it's going to happen. That is not your problem. That is not your job to worry about. That is God's job to do to figure that out for you. All you got to do is just be in the receiving mode, meaning you're just ready to receive what you ask for. So, <laughs> so a few days later or like a week later, something like that. It was pretty quick. Um, I went to lunch at Panda Express and I met someone there. <laughs> so I sat down on the table and I saw this man looking at me. <laughs> I was like, okay, I, I, like I was drawn to his energy, okay? I was drawn, I knew he was, so I know there's, I have this psychic ability of like, like, feeling people's energy like very strongly like i know when something's about to happen or anything like that but i knew he was gonna sit down next to me um and talk to me so a few seconds later he sat next to me while i was eating and he asked me like well he complimented me like oh you're you're beautiful blah blah, blah. and he asked me so what do you do for fun and then i was like i don't really do anything for fun because i'm just working on my online business <laughs> like that's my priority and he was like really and then I showed him my my business page at the time it was still brand new like my Instagram business page was brand new I was never even on Instagram to begin with until I got in the online business but anyways um he asked like what he asked about the business and then I was like I I'm starting out, I'm still kind of starting out and I don't, I need help with like inventory. Like I need more, I need more money for inventory. And then that's when he offered help to buy inventory for me. And I thought he was joking. So we exchanged um, numbers, stuff like that. And then later on he messaged me. He was like, how much money do you need for the um, inventory? And then he sent me the money. <laughs> so it was like about a thousand dollars, right? And I don't remember it was like five hundred to a thousand, but he helped me more than just inventory. He helped me with um paying for this brand ambassador or like influencer on YouTube. So overall I would say it was like about fifteen hundred. And that much money is a lot. For me at the time, especially like when you're starting out, you know, when you're struggling, you don't got no money. And like 1500 is pretty good. Okay. In terms of inventory or marketing or whatever. So I'm extremely grateful. I'm still saying my gratitude for this. But um, so that's the power of manifesting and the law of attraction. So law of attraction, like I said, you put out um your intention with what you want and whatever it is that you the law of attraction meaning <clears throat> if you are vibrating in a certain frequency that is what you're going to going to receive so when i was at my desk i was my at my desk job as an office manager i already made a decision i was like this is going to be my last 
job ever, like a last corporate job ever. Like I want to, I am my own boss. Like I didn't say I want to do this. Like I didn't say in the future I'm going to be this or in the next few years or, you know, or I wish. Like there's no like wishy-washy. Like there's no hoping or wanting or guessing or wishing for for it. I just said I am my own boss, period. <laughs> okay. So I was like, I am my own CEO of my own company, all right, period. <laughs> so if you are listening to this and you are at a job that you hate or you just want, you, you, or even if you don't hate it, if you just want to not rely on that job and become your own boss like full time, you need to make that decision mentally and emotionally, right? You can't be just... Like I said, you can't be wishy-washy about this. You can't have like half foot on it and like the other half, like you're you're worried, whatever. You need to have an unshakable faith that this is already yours, that this is already your new reality. And this is called switching your identity or not switching identity, I would say... Um, having a new self concept right so when when you are at a 9 to 5 job you are called an employee right so you're going to switch from an employee to a full-time entrepreneur right so that's that's an identity in order for you to transition to the new identity you have to embody that new identity right so what is that full-time entrepreneur do how does that new, new how does that full-time entrepreneur think how does that new entrepreneur like not new like full-time how does that full-time entrepreneur talk walk um think feel right so if you're a full-time entrepreneur you're successful, you make your own money, you're a boss ass bitch, <laughs> right? You love what you do, okay, period. You have control over your time, you right? Like you make your own schedule, you're happy about what you do for work, right? So you need to be that person. So you need to reprogram your mind and how you reprogram your mind this is how i reprogram my mind i was listening to affirmations like all the time okay about affirmations about money affirmations about wealth affirmations about self-love affirmations about self-confidence and that helps to like remind yourself it's a self-talk it reminds yourself to think a new way in a new way okay instead of like um, limiting beliefs instead of like, um, I don't know, or like not being sure about yourself. Like you need to have a certainty about yourself that you can do it. Even if you don't know everything, you don't have to know everything because this is how it works. Once you get into the receiving mode and once you start, you know, saying the affirmations and you feel it and you really believe it, you start believing the story. You need to be mindful of the stories that you tell yourself in your mind. Now, if your mind, like, you need to catch yourself, like, if you're always a negative thinker, um, if you're always saying, like, oh, this, that's not going to happen for me, or that's just, they're lucky, but I'm not, or I don't, I can't do this, or I don't have this. If you, you always talk about something negative, this, like, against your, against you, right, right? Against what you actually want, against what you deserve, that's another thing like you need to feel like you deserve um money you need to feel like you deserve everything you want and if you don't feel like that right now you need to reprogram your subconscious mind your sub your subconscious mind is it's kind of like have you ever like drove somewhere like going home and then when you got home and you're like, how the heck did I get home? <laughs> like your mind was just wandering around, right? So your subconscious mind is the one like driving. Like your subconscious mind is the one that's running in the background. 
For example, your heart is pumping blood and you're not even consciously thinking about it, but it's just doing it like on autopilot. So that is the same with the subconscious mind. It's just running on autopilot. So you need to be careful with what you listen to and what you're watching on TV. You need to be careful to who you listen to, like your friends, your family, if they're like doubting you or giving you like limiting beliefs. You need to be mindful and be careful and make sure that you're not listening to any of them. You always want to have this tunnel vision of... You're only listening to your higher self. Your higher self is inside of you. It's just your subconscious mind that's always motivating you. Okay, if you're if you're in your mind, if you're saying like, I'm beautiful or I'm successful, you can do it. That's your higher self, right? But if it's your like, oh, I'm ugly or I can't do it. I don't, um, like, that's never going to happen for me, blah, blah, blah. If it's like negative, that's not your higher self. That's your lower um that's your lower self, okay? That is your lower vibration. You don't want to listen to that. Like that's your ego. Your ego want to keep you um safe. Our ego mind wants to always keep you like comfortable and safe, okay? If you're doing things that are not out of your comfort zone, you're not doing it right. Okay, <laughs> so that's, that's another topic on its own, like getting out of your comfort zone. But we're talking about the mindset right now. So if you're thinking negatively and talking negatively about yourself, you need to cut that out. Like you always want to listen and be mindful of what you're saying in your mind. So the affirmations are the ones that help me and what I believe will help you as well. Now, when I said I was so sure, over a hundred thousand percent that I, I'm I am now my own boss. This is the last job ever that I'm ever gonna do. So what happened a month later, or a month or two later? <laughs> uh, this company laid off like twelve to twenty between twelve or fifteen people, and I was one of them. So I was jobless. <laughs> okay, so I was devastated. Honestly, I was like, what the heck? How am I going to pay my bills? Blah, blah, blah. And I received a lot of like a lot of signs from the universe that, you know, this is the right path. Like everything might look like it's the end of the world, but it's not. What happens is like if you desire something bigger than your current circumstance, it's going to like... It, everything's gonna go in shambles and it's gonna appear like everything's going wrong but the reality is like god is rearranging things in the background like behind the scenes you know so just trust the process just trust just have this unshakable faith okay and that's what you need <laughs> uh but Long story short, um, what I did was I just started driving for DoorDash, like delivering food. And that was barely making any money, honestly. But, I, you know, it was a little bit enough just to like pay my rent and my car note. So, but then I also had to um, treat my online business as a full-time job. So... I was already getting sales from like from the online business when I was at the job at my nine to five job, but I noticed like I stopped, I stopped promoting it, I stopped posting on it, so I got discouraged, right? So if you're going through something like this, like if you got discouraged, like don't don't give up because it's only the beginning, right? Um, and then later on, I noticed I was still getting sales, like. Like, I was getting sales here and there, and I'm like, wait, if I'm not even posting, I stop posting and everything, and I'm still getting a lot of sales. What's going on? And I'm like, you know what? This is a sign. Like, I need I need to take this seriously. So, guess what? I got serious about it again. Long story short, that's when the pandemic happened. <laughs> okay, like the lockdown and everything. Uh, this is another thing. Like, everyone was scared, okay? Fearful about the pandemic. 
everybody's stressed out because they lost their job, right? So I already knew that this is the new transition. Like I need to be in the tunnel vision. Like I'm not going to let any fear or doubt hinder me. So that actually benefited me because during the pandemic, when that happened, that was like the best months, like the best, like that's when I started like doing the wholesale. That's when I started doing websites. I started when I started my YouTube channel. Like I was just on a ton of vision. Like I was getting sales here and like left and right. And I think it's because of, you know, being in alignment with my purpose and more importantly at the time more in alignment with what I need to be doing and what I asked for I said I wanted to become my own boss and I wanted to have my own place and you know like have my own money and stuff like that so that's what happened because I got in alignment so every single day I was saying my affirmations I was listening to my affirmations while I was driving I was listening to affirmation and visualizing what I want like what kind of place do I want to move into like things like that right and then I started surrounding myself like I started when I was driving for DoorDash to deliver food i went to the rich neighborhood okay because like the rich neighborhood for one they tip more because they they got the money to tip and more importantly the environment it was just like luxury homes left and right and like the energy was so different right from like if you drop if you are in the environment of like poor people environment the energy is just so low vibrational energy it's just like really sad and just like stressed and then when you go to the rich neighborhood everybody's happy you know what i mean so that's one thing i would say if you have if you have people in your life that are negative it could be your parents could be your friends your family you need to um distance yourself and stay to yourself more like distance yourself you don't have to like talk to them every day you can be still you know your family is always going to be your family your friends are going to be your friends but if they're negative they're bringing you down they're putting their limiting beliefs um they're putting their um insecurities like it you know what i mean like just distance yourself so only listen to positive things you can listen to podcasts like this you can go to YouTube and listen to um, entrepreneurs, podcasts, right? So you need to always just listen to things that are going to grow your mindset and your soul, pretty much. Don't, like, stop with it. Um, drama, drama shows, drama movie, or, like... <laughs> drama friends right so that's something that i want to say um protect your energy protect your energy and when it comes to manifesting a successful business you just need to be in alignment with the success mindset you need to reprogram your mind so that you can work on your limiting beliefs because you can do all the technical stuff and still not make sales and still have a business that's not even doing anything. It's because of your environment. It's because of your energy and your mindset. So that's the lesson. Okay. So if you're going through anything that it's not, you feel like it's like your life is not going how it should be. Just, just don't worry too much. Like the more you focus on the worry, the more you focus on the negative things in the past and what happened in the past and what's going on in the present moment. Like, the more you focus on that, you're not going to move forward to a new reality. Like, you need to move on to the next chapter by telling yourself the new story. What is the new story, right? And when you say, whenever, when I say talk about the new story, speak about it in the present tense, in the present tense. Like, for example... I am now making $10,000 a month in my business. 
I am not, I am now my own boss. I have a successful online business. I'm making over 20 sales per day. I have the best customers ever. You need to talk about it in a present tense. And like I said, if you go to my YouTube channel, type The Realist Barbie D. I created um, this affirmation so you can read it, but I recommend that you repeat everything that I was saying and read it while I was saying it because I would put I will put the words in the um, on the screen so that you can read it and like go with it you need to talk about the, <laughs> you need to talk about the new story you need to speak about the new story every day um so you can repro the, the more you do it the more you feel what you're saying and like you need to brainwash yourself into positive thinking because what happened is you got brainwashed all your life from you know from from the movies from the from the tv from your parents from your environment you got brainwashed like about oh you can't do this da, 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 da. you know what i mean so that's my advice for you <laughs> that's it for this episode thank you for listening don't forget to follow me on instagram and tiktok and on my youtube um instagram is at wholesale.eyelashes um, YouTube is The Realest Barbie D and TikTok is Barbie Lena. So I think that's what it is if I haven't changed it. But anyways, I hope you have an amazing day. Looking forward to seeing you on the next episode. Love you.